bearing capacity we have with a non-strength and soda line blast. Breaking around 42 pounds. And then we have a strength and soda line blast, which we'll be testing next. Bring this one in. And we should see a little bit higher strength with this because it's been, it's been chemically strengthened similar to Gorilla Glass. And it's the same size of glass? This is a 1.1 millimeter glass in both cases. Okay. So we're going to take Corning Gorilla Glass at 1.0 millimeter. So we're going to load this in. Bring this down and load it up. And this was the Gorilla Glass 1? This is Gorilla Glass 1, yes. We'll try to get this up to around 125 pounds. That's pretty good. Scratch resistant, camp can't break. Damage resistant, scratch resistant. It's high retaining strength. We're going to put Gorilla Glass 2 in here. So what's so good about Gorilla Glass 2? It's going to enable you to go 20% thinner, but it's going to give you the same level of damage resistance. What we're going to show you here is it's going to, it's going to withstand the same amount of load bearing at 20% less. You can go. You thin. can keep going. Go, go, go. There you go. Same. So what is the difference in, you said 20% thinner, so how yes. much is that? 0.2 millimeters in this case. Okay. 1 millimeter to 0.8 millimeter. And there seems to be a little dent in there. Is that just because of the amount of times you've done it? Yeah. It's from the okay. and, and there was a flex in there as well? Yes, it will flex. It will and flex. I go back and shake as well? Yep. So yes. who, who have you uh, signed deals with for this? So we've had uh, announcements of... Uh, uh, with uh, Acer and Asus as well as LG with their premium smartphones. And okay. Co-branding uh, um, uh, activity underway with Microsoft. Really? Yep. Interesting. And on tablets or phones or? Uh, actually, couldn't, couldn't cite specific devices. Okay. Yep. Brilliant. Thank you. You're welcome. Yep.